Now there's no denying that Huawei's Mate 20 Pro rocks some seriously sexy hardware. You got that in-screen fingerprint sensor, you got a bit of 3D model and front-facing camera action, tri-lens rear camera, you got fast charging, wireless charging, reverse wireless charging, all kinds of shenanigans. However, it's not just about the hardware. The Huawei Mate 20 Pro also rocks Huawei's latest Emotion UI 9, or Amui 9 as we like to call it. It's the latest version of its OS overlay, which sits neatly on top of Android Pie, adding lots of great functionality. So we've been having a good old play with the MIUI 9. We're going to have a run through some of the best features now, see how it compares to a MIUI 8. And don't forget to subscribe for lots more on the Huawei Mate 20 Pro and the latest and greatest mobile tech. Cheers. So first up, a quick introduction to a motion UI. Pretty much all smartphones that aren't an iPhone rock Android OS. Because if you look at different smartphones, you'll notice they have a different look and feel and different features. And that's because the manufacturers add their own overlay on top of Android. In the case of Huawei phones, it's a Motion UI, or a MUI as we like to call it, or MUI as I think it's actually supposed to be called. But a MUI's more fun. And on the Huawei Mate 20 series, it's a MUI version 9, the latest version of a Motion UI. In a Motion UI 9, there are lots of new features that you can actually have a play around with, stuff like the digital balance, and there's also lots of behind the scenes changes as well. So we're gonna go through both of them in turn. So first up, let's go through some of the more general changes. When you first set up your Huawei Mate 20 Pro, you'll notice that it's got the standard Android navigation bar down here at the bottom to go home at any point, load up your recent apps and also go back. However, as with previous Huawei phones, you can change up that system navigation by going into system in the settings and then diving into system navigation. In here, there's a fresh new gesture support system which you can uh, select and then dive into the settings to customize. So as you can see here, a swipe from at the edge of the screen, either edge works, uh, will represent the back action. If you swipe up from the bottom of the screen, that will take you back home. If you swipe up from the bottom and hold it in the middle, then that will bring up all of your recent apps. And you also have the option of bringing up the Google Assistant by uh, swiping up from one of the sides of the screen as well. You can, however, deactivate that feature if you and the Assistant don't really get on. This is more of an Android Pie way of doing things, and we definitely like it. It's nice and intuitive once you get used to it. And as you can see there, you can just flick between all of your different apps get open whatever you want, nice and easy. Likewise, that swiping from the edge works really well as well. As you can see, nice and simple, it seems to work every time. One of the potential issues with previous versions of a Motion UI is they could get rather complex. If you dive into that settings menu, you don't really know what you're doing, you don't know your way around good old Amui, then you could get very, very lost indeed. So many features. So, for a Motion UI 9, Huawei has customized it, streamlined it a bit, so it's easier to find what you need. There are actually a hundred fewer settings than with previous versions of Amui, but with all the great functionality. So now when you dive into a lot of menus, you'll notice a lot more more display settings more audio settings, whatever else. This is where all the more advanced stuff that people tend to use less frequently are tucked away. So as you can see, if you give that a tap, you've still got the kind of functionality that you would expect from a motion UI. It's just not all slaps there on one big menu screen. So for instance, here in the display settings, you're unlikely to want to toggle the notch on and off very often. So that's buried away in the advanced section. Ditto in sounds, you've got all your basic stuff there, your ringtones, your volumes, your vibrates, etc. And if you dive into more sound settings, then you've got stuff that you're less likely to want to access. Things like the startup sound and the dialer touch tones. Now, one notable feature of Huawei smartphones is they're always rather on the large side, not the easiest to use one-handed. Thankfully, Motion UI always throws in plenty of one-handed help, and a MUI 9 is no different. Fan favorites are once again back in action. So, for instance, you can pull down the notifications tab with a quick tap of this icon in the navigation bar. And, of course, you have the mini view mode as well. Just quick swipe across that navigation bar and as you can see everything gets reduced down so it's much much easier to use with a single mitt and don't worry if you decided to ditch the navigation bar and use the gesture support instead because all you need to do is swipe up from the corner of the display towards the center towards the center towards the center there we go and once again you're in that mini view as you can see it will take some getting used to but once you're there all good. And Huawei has helped out even more with that one-handed use in Emotion UI 9. So for instance, dive into some of Huawei's own apps and you'll notice that the navigation menus have generally been shifted to the bottom of the screen instead of stuck away up at the top. And Huawei has also tweaked some of the tones and natural sounds in there as well to make them sound even better than before. So for instance, the stopwatch sounds like an actual stopwatch. In the MIUI 9, there's also apparently been an improvement in the general performance as well. So basically the likes of apps should load up nice and quick, menu navigation so it should be super swift as well. It's kind of difficult to notice. Ah, oh, 
Oh, sorry about that. That was unexpected. As I was saying, it's kind of difficult to notice if it actually makes a difference here on the Huawei Mate 20 Pro because it is, of course, rocking a Kirin 980 chipset backed by 6 gigs of RAM. So the performance on the whole is fantastic anyway. But hopefully where it should really make a difference is with some of those more affordable Honor handsets, for instance. If it's packing a Motion UI 9, should hopefully help to speed it up a little bit despite the fact they'll be rocking a more sort of basic mid-range chipset. So now let's move on to some of the new tools packed away in a Motion UI 9 as well. And one of the ones you've probably heard about is the Digital Balance. It seems like everyone's all of a sudden getting hung up on how much time they spend staring at their smartphones and so now the likes of Android and iOS and now Motion UI 9 as well are including these digital nannies which basically tell you when it's time to put down the smartphone and go look at a flower or stroke a puppy instead. The Amui 9 digital balance basically tells you exactly how much time you spend staring at your smartphone and exactly what you've been up to. And if you don't feel like you can control your urges you can turn on this screen time management which basically allows you to set a certain number of hours that you can use it on your work days and your rest days. You can also set limits for particular apps as well and there's a bedtime option which basically just turns the screen grey during those night hours. Kind of similar to the night mode. Of course it's pretty good I guess if you're going to be handing your Huawei Mate 20 Pro to your Sprog to ensure they're not wasting their entire life watching rubbish on YouTube. But then if you're going to be handing a Huawei Mate 20 Pro to a small child then you've clearly got more money than sense. I for one will be turning off that screen time management feature because if I don't spend all my time staring at my smartphone I'll just spend it with my kid instead and let's face it I don't want that and she don't want that. So everyone loses. The Motion UI 9 also introduces the reverse wireless charging feature as well, which is pretty nifty. It's only available, of course, right now on the Mate 20 Pro, not the standard Mate 20 or any other Huawei smartphone. With this activated, it basically turns your Mate 20 Pro into a Qi standard wireless charging pad. So if you've got a buddy with a smartphone that supports that Qi standard wireless charging and they've been dense enough not to actually bother charging up their mobile before heading out, you can come to their rescue. When I did my Mate 20 Pro unboxing, I found that I really struggled to get it to charge up the Pixel 3 unless I basically pushed them both together. However, today, just one day later, it seems to be behaving itself perfectly fine. As you can see there, the Pixel 3 is now charging rapidly, sat neatly on the back of the Mate 20 Pro. One of the other noteworthy Emotion UI 9 features hidden away in the security section this time is the Password Vault. This is kind of similar to the likes of the Google Autofill. This is kind of similar to the likes of the Google Autofill feature. It just allows you to save all your passwords nice and securely for all of your various accounts so you don't have to remember them and enter them every time. All you need to do is just knock that on, confirm the service statement, and then every time you enter a password for anything, it'll ask you if you want to store it away in the vault and then prevent you from having to re-enter it every time. And in Emotion UI 9, there's plenty of bonus camera bits thrown away in there as well. The likes of high vision has been updated so you can now scan objects and get a rough approximate uh, calorie count on them so you know what you're letting yourself in for before you shove your face into that chocolate muffin. And you can now scan objects using that advanced 3D modeling camera on the front of the Huawei Mate 20 Pro and then actually bring them to life as well so that sounds suitably random. So stay tuned for an in-depth look at all the bonus new camera features coming soon. There's also a new spotlight reel feature which basically can recognize individual people in videos that you've taken on the smartphone and then it couples them together into a kind of a highlights clip show type thing. So that right there, some of our favorite new features packed into a MUI 9. Delicious. For more on the Mate 20 Pro and the Lit Scripts Mobile Tech, don't forget to hit subscribe, ding that notifications bell as well so you can be the first to know about it. Yay! And as ever, love you guys. Bye!